chicken I'm using boneless thigh fillets so uh, I've got 900 grams of those and um, I actually quite like the texture and flavor of thigh I prefer it to breast myself but you can use breast for this recipe no problem uh, I've got small pineapple which is just about the right size for this recipe. I've got a can of coconut milk. I've got some cooking oil. got some uh, curry powder. That's a homemade curry powder. And I do have a link. I do have a video on how to make your own curry powder. I've got some garam masala. Uh, I've got a chicken stock cube. I've got some curry or carapili leaves. I've got some panch paran. I'll be using about a teaspoon of that. And I've got the Indian Trinity, onions, garlic and ginger. So I've got six cloves of garlic. I've got about the same volume of uh, ginger. And I've got two relatively small brown onions, which I've just halved and peeled. So the next thing I need to do is just get this all prepped up and get it ready to go into the pan. Okay, that's my prep done. I've cut up the chicken into bite-sized pieces. I've used uh, three quarters of the pineapple, which are chopped up. The other quarter is being munched by my brother right now. The onions have cut up into pieces because they're going to go into the blender along with the garlic and the ginger. The only addition I've made to the ingredients is, is three bird-eye peppers, which I'm going to put in and cook whole. And the reason I do that is I, I particularly like it very hot, so I will eat those whole. Uh, and my brother, who doesn't like it quite as hot, will be able to uh, opt out of eating them that way. Plus they add a nice bit of colour to the curry. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is get sorted out is my curry paste. So to that end, I'm going to load my onions garlic and ginger. I'll be adding the chilies whole to the curry so I don't want those chopped up. So they go in. I'm going to put a glug of oil in with that. So what's that? A tablespoon of oil in there. And the other thing I want to in there is some curry powder. So I'm going to put in one, two, three heaping teaspoons of curry powder in there which will give it a nice spicy flavour and I'll go and whiz that up, I'll save you the noise of it. So there it is, all ground up nicely into a nice paste. If you're finding it's not easy to grind to a paste you can always uh, put in a, a little shot glass of water just to speed it along. So. Um, now all the action takes place on the stove. So first thing in there is a good glug of oil, about four tablespoons. You can always drain the oil off afterwards. And then into that you'll want about a teaspoon of panch paran. That helps to sweeten the oil. And you stir that around until it starts to pop. And if you've got the temperature right, it, that won't be very long. And into that next goes your curry paste. Give it a good old stir. Get it starting to cook. Right, once you've got that in, you need to start stirring and frying it over a fairly high heat. And you need to do that until you get a very characteristic sweet smell. And that sweet smell comes from the ingredients, the onions, the garlic and the ginger, as they start to caramelise and the sugars start to come out of them. And it is those sugars that if you leave it in there too long they'll brown and they'll burn and go bitter. 
so you really need to keep your eye on it keep it stirring be patient and in about somewhere like six seven minutes you're going to find that you get this nice curry paste cooked down one little trick I like to use is just put some water in there to get the rest of that out and I'll use that in a second I'll show you that when I use my second day taste technique all right it's cooked down a bit now I'm starting to get that sweet characteristic smell and it's starting to catch a little bit on the bottom of the pan and it stops issuing quite so much water vapor because a lot of the water has evaporated off and it's beginning to fry again so at this stage I'm gonna just add in a few carapili leaves because I like to get, put a little fry on them so just a pinch or a sprig of car fresh carapili or curry leaves get those in there they add quite a nice flavour to it um, I really do like the flavour of them actually so they're worth seeking out if you can find them if not just don't worry you know you leave them out entirely if you like now every, everyone agrees that the uh, a curry generally tastes better the next day well we've got a little sneaky technique to make a curry taste that good on the first day because what we've got there now is some cooked curry paste and we're going to reduce it but we're going to add in a bit more water and I've, I've mixed some water in with the uh, the, the remnants of the, the paste in there and I'm just going to add that little bit to it and then I'm going to go through that process again so I'm going to allow it to cook I'm going to stir it and fry it and we're going to coax the last bit of sweetness out of that which is basically what happens overnight it dries out a little bit and uh, the flavors become a little more concentrated and that's what we're doing here so we're getting the second day taste on the first day so we need to get that back down frying again so it's going to be around about three to five minutes depending on how much water you put in it all right we're getting to that stage again that's starting to cook down nicely just starting to catch the characteristic sweet smell is issuing forth and I think we're just about ready to get the chicken into that now so that mix has started to fry again and this is a good time to add in the chicken so we add in all the chicken and we'll give that a stir to get that coated in that delicious curry paste and then we cook that now until the chicken begins to brown there are a few things in life as good as a nice chicken curry curry guy yummy all right the chicken is beginning to brown and the pan is starting to catch on the bottom so at this stage I'm going to add in some water because I don't want that burning I don't want that bitterness from that burning so adding a little bit of water will stop that from happening straight away and into that lot now goes my coconut milk so we'll get all that in at um, this latitude it turns into a solid but um, you can always warm the can up if you want it to uh, if you want it to run freely so we'll get all that in and then we'll stir that in oh it smells great boys and girls that really does smell great just as that is coming to the bowl we can now add in our pineapple and I'm going to throw in my chilies and then I'll just stir that all in and let that cook 
cook off over a medium heat for about 15 minutes. You want it on a fairly fast simmer. All right, the chicken's coming nicely up to the boil. So I'm just going to add in my chicken stock cube. I'm just going to break it up and drop it in. Give it a good old stir. And then turn the heat down so that it's at a fairly fast simmer. Medium fast simmer for about um, 15 to 20 minutes until that chicken is cooked all the way through. And we do that covered. Alright, it's been cooking for about 15 minutes. Um, I, I'm not too happy with the colour. It's a bit insipid look. So I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of tomato paste. And that should just lift up and brighten up the colours a little bit. It also adds a nice little oomph of umami flavour. Maybe just a little bit more. So, say a tablespoon and a half. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That's looking really good. I'm just going to give that a quick taste now. And adjust for seasoning if I need to. Oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. taste another spoon it's perfect okay that's looking really nice and I've adjusted for salt saltiness and I want to just sprinkle on about a teaspoon of garam masala which gives it a nice flourish of sweet spices right at the end I'll stir that in and then the next thing to do is get that plated up. <laughs> Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.